Hey, we're here together in Horizon, and this is the first time that we've done this at Connect. And this is a preview of our next generation of avatars. They're so much more expressive and detailed than anything else today, and they have this unique meta style to them. Now, it's a lot of work to build AI to auto-generate these for billions of people, and then give everyone the tools to make sure that your avatar feels like your own. So, while I'm excited for this next generation of avatars, we are also seeing a lot of developers and partners building great experiences with our current generation of avatars as well. So now, let's meet up with Igarim, who leads our avatars work, to discuss the latest on our avatars and what you can do with them. Hey, Igarim. Hey, Mark. Hey, want to update everyone on the latest with the avatars ecosystem? Yes, we have so many exciting things going on. Our first milestone is making it so you could use your avatar across all of our apps and in VR. The new Meta Account Center, it already allows you to have one or multiple avatars, so you could show up however you want. And if you have one avatar you really like, you can now easily sync it across all the apps and in Horizon. Nice. We want you to be able to use avatars anywhere you want to express yourself. And we're also bringing avatars to video chat. Yeah, I think avatars and video chat are going to be like this third mode, between video on and video off. You can still express yourself and react, but you're not on camera, so it's kind of like a better camera off mode. Yeah, we're working on this now and expect to launch it next year. Yeah, so right now, a lot of developers are building their own avatar systems since the tools that you can import are pretty basic. But over the next year or two, as all these new tools and styles become available, and as the hundreds of people that we have working on avatars keep improving the system, I just think that more and more developers are going to find building with our interoperable avatar stack will offer a much simpler and better experience. And speaking of making it easy to add new styles, we have some news about the avatar store too. You're going to start seeing a lot more of your favorite familiar brands. These integrations, they're going to be pretty awesome. And later this year, keep a lookout in the avatar store for new outfit releases from Netflix. Giving people more ways to express themselves through digital clothing will help kickstart the marketplace for interoperable digital goods. So if you buy a sweater, you're going to want to be able to wear that on your avatar no matter what app you're using. So we're going to see more creators, developers, and brands experimenting with this. And beyond clothes, we're also improving the core avatars themselves across the whole family of apps. Mark, I'm sure you've seen the new face shapes we introduced earlier this year. Oh no, this is horrible! Yeah, and we have some big improvements to representation coming too, with more options for body types, as well as shaders for more realistic skin. There's one more feature coming soon that's probably the most requested feature on our roadmap. Legs. Legs! I know you've been waiting for this! I think everyone has been waiting for this. But seriously, the legs are hard, which is why other virtual reality systems don't have them either. And the perceptual science behind this is actually quite interesting. And now we're getting ready to launch the first full-body avatars. Yeah, so with standalone virtual reality headsets, understanding your leg position is surprisingly difficult because of occlusion. So if your legs are under a desk or if your arms block your view of them, then your headset can't see them directly and you need to build an AI model to predict your whole body position. Have a very safe day.